Quite some time ago, we decided that we were going to build a shop. Somewhere we could work and run our business out of the rain, be able to get some of the inventory, the parts, the supplies that we had stored in our house into a more permanent, better location that would be better organized, that we'd be able to have tools and store projects. And here I am, sitting in it. So what you're about to see is a compilation of what it took to get this shop built up and ready to go in some kind of time-lapse fashion of some of the various steps along the way. So hopefully you enjoy this. It's a little bit different from our usual content, but this is going to be a new area that you're quite likely going to see a lot of videos taking place in in the near future. So this kind of overgrown area, right where the drone is flying to now, is where the shop would ultimately end up. meant a lot of work clearing, digging, adding a culvert pipe in so that we could travel across the small creek that runs through our property. Here's the overgrown area, knocking down trees with a backhoe. The dozer coming to start actually leveling. And here's the pad starting. It's snowing. There it is, the finished pad, the future site. George inspecting it with me. All graveled up and ready to be poured. Here the pour begins. This was the very last time that I got any useful footage from my drone. It died a horrible, horrible death shortly after this video. But the pad is down, and the building will go up very soon. So the vertical eye beams up. Is starting to go across the top. Sandy doing work, helping out, getting everything lifted into place. The entire frame of this building is welded together. Every piece that you're seeing go up was welded on, with the exception of the exterior tin. There's the front wall finished, the back wall finished, side wall finished, all four walls are on. And now the roof is on. Quick view of the interior at this point. Still some construction, trim stuff needed to go on. But I'm sitting over in the corner. Inspecting. George checking out the shelves. These shelves my neighbor gave to me and uh, we got some plywood. Tiffany tried them out and approved, uh, so we painted them. Made them a nice gray color, and they work great. Here's the high bay LED lights uh, being installed, and boy are they bright. So here we go, testing the lights. That is insanely bright. Uh, all 
Ready? Projects piling up. This is after the doors were on. Our friends from the Planet Arts came up to check it out and get a little work done to their car, which the video is coming soon on that. Here's another view of inside and all of the projects piling up. A friend of mine working on a Sea-Doo XP that he brought down. Just a constant stream of broken stuff I've got to fix. So here's another view of just a couple days later. And we piled in so many PWCs that we were working on that day. It, late into the night trying to get stuff cranked out. Closing the door up. And that's the end of it, guys. You'll be seeing a lot of this place. So... Hopefully you've enjoyed watching. We'll see you in the next video.